warming up your heart with the text postcard, yeah Got nothing else to do, so I go reset the moon Sipping some jungle juice in my bathing suit I turn my living room into a Bahama cruise And send some pics to you in my bathing suit Good morning, we're at the Kona Airport and we're eating breakfast The airport is outdoors He's happy. Don't be fooled by his weird energy. We're gonna go. Hi, we have landed and arrived in Kauai. We were not able to check in yet, but no worries. Just changed from the hotel lobby bathroom. <laughs> hotel is so nice and modern. So pretty. And then we just got poke. Got some spicy ahi poke. We looked at the car window and we saw this. A little function happening. Oh my god! Coconut down! <gasps> bam, bam. Welcome to. I'm gonna caption what this waterfall is called. Let me get your pants. Oh, sorry, you can go. super low this is a new mustang um, i don't remember if i vlogged this yesterday this is a white car now so that's pretty cool yeah we're literally on the road as you can see yesterday we hit up some waterfalls and then we went to lidgate what's so funny and we went to lidgate beach state park i'm yelling because of the ac and that is really really cool reminded me of the i'm gonna type it here reminded me of that place because it's almost like nature's pool it's enclosed by rocks and then you can just swim around inside and snorkel if you want to and that's just in the backyard of our hotel that we're staying at so that's pretty cool we're going to passion we're going uh, sun bakery they are known for their malasadas. they're known for their malasadas Take the morning. Morning. Sipping some jungle juice in my bed. I don't know if these are still warm. Same. Hi guys, we're eating malasadas, I say. Promise. Yeah, the, the magnet one. My regular ice latte. Hey. How is it? It's pretty good. because there's a lot of chickens outside that might attack us. Ooh, refreshing. <laughs> I missed it. Oh, Yeah. 
Hi everyone, so this is a new day. We are taking a boat tour today out to the Nepali coast and I'm gonna do a voiceover because there's no way in hell that I could have recorded and said anything because this boat adventure was very insane. I'll go into that later. Pretty cool, we actually saw some dolphins as you can see just swimming next to the boat and riding the waves of the boat, which is kind of cute. And then from here, I switched cameras to the underwater camera. This is me about to go down a slide. Okay, boom, a little bit chaotic, went in, and then I tried to record Ray going like down the slide next. And I was just trying to float, and then we just got noodles for some part of the swimming thing because I was just really lazy, and there were a lot of waves, so swimming through waves can be a little bit tiring. But anyways, I didn't actually get that much footage of underwater stuff, though that's me struggling because there actually wasn't that much stuff down here. Um, so this is me like, I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but it was very hard to swim. As you can see, it's very wavy. So not only can I not really film anything, see, I don't know what I'm doing there, but it was just like not much underwater life to film either. Anyways, we hop back onto the boat and I am literally fighting for my life at this point because it's super rocky. I'm trying so hard to stabilize with both of my hands to get some stable footage, take some photos, but it was so difficult. I'll tell you more about that in a bit. This is us driving into, I think, what appears to be a waterfall or a cave. Again, it was a very rocky experience. And so I'm just like probably shaking and fighting for my life for most of the boat tour. There were actually people that threw up as well. So that's just how kind of bad it can be if you're um, especially vulnerable to being seasick, which thankfully I'm not, but you know, it's not always fun. But regardless, look at how pretty these views are. I included those clips in there just to show like how rocky it was. <laughs> but yeah, and then, I mean, obviously I wanted to look at the Nepali coast more and enjoy it. Just look at how beautiful it is, but it is a little bit rocky. Then they put up the sails, which is pretty cool so that we could kind of chill a little bit more and just sail. Everyone was getting very beat up at this point. See, that's me shaking. This is us cruising along back with the sail on. I never used to know Canyon. This is a lookout point. We did not hike today to be completely transparent. Tired from this insane boat tour in the morning, which I don't even know if I got any footage from because it was so, it was just chaos. But we were at this beautiful canyon lookout. It's what up, like, you're not in the frame. It's like this, um, not, it's Can like, you start over? Yes, we are, we are at a beautiful canyon lookout. It is a Hawaiian version of the Grand Canyon. I hope I'm allowed to say that, but it does kind of look like the Grand Canyon. I don't know if you can hear me at all, but I don't want to shout. But yeah, very beautiful. There's somebody here. It's crazy. You think there's other lookout points? I think so. Do you want to look into the distance? Yeah. Holy cow, there's a lot of bugs. <clears throat> that distance? crazy for my hair. Yes, after the canyon lookouts and everything, we're a little bit hungry. It's like 5 p.m. actually, so it's kind of a weird time. We went to 7-Eleven, which we were really excited about. Oh, what's it? Spicy garlic butter spam musubi. Some kind of sweet bread ham and cheese sandwich, which looks really good. That bread looks amazing. Should I bend down? It's kind of weird. Much better than the one from today. Oh, got it. Yep. A horse chilling in the wild. Crazy. Magical. Somebody new. Yeah, the best parts of me were made from loving you. Perfect view. 
view of this man. He's climbing the tree and he's about to cut some stuff. It's a very long climb up actually. Kudos to him. This is our room view. I'm actually leaving right now. I never vlogged this room in Kauai. Or I don't even remember speaking much <laughs> anymore. Mm. Oh, what have we done? I can't remember anymore. Nepali coast tour. Just a lot of beautiful lush green scenery that I will show and caption the exact location of everything. You swim with the turtles? Oh yes, I did swim with the turtle yesterday, which was exciting. We saw a lot of waterfalls, just a lot of beach hopping. Very crowded, I would say. Like, there's a lot of tourism in Kauai. And now the room checkout time is actually 11, not 12 like we thought. So instead of grabbing breakfast, we're gonna pack up right now and then head out. And we are gonna pack soon. Time to go home, sadly. But yeah, I also got this flower clip from a store. ABC store. ABC store. They're everywhere here. Oh, and we ate 7-Eleven for dinner last night. Literally. Oh, is that? Slap. Is that how it looks? Okay. You want it higher? I don't think that's how you put the clip in, but thank you. <laughs> this is floating in my head. All right, we have to pack. Thank you for watching. Let's see. I don't even know what we're going to do today, but I will vlog. Hey, guys. I just finished napping in the car. Ray went to get coffee. Ow, that hurts. I'm just gonna leave it, <laughs> get it out later. I'm so tired that I just napped by myself in a car. I woke up, I was like, where am I? He's still not back. <sighs> oh my God. Our flight is at 10 tonight. The coffee is taking quite a while. I feel like I was napping in the car for a long time. I'm starting to get worried. This was a very successful, for the most part, vacation in that we were able to see a lot of different things and explore and also do a lot of land and water exploring which is, you know, the ideal combo for me. Very grateful, you know, I love traveling and I feel like this has been the biggest trip for us post-COVID. Wow, he's still not back. So many cool things to see on the Big Island. I feel like nobody really talks about traveling there. People will go to Maui or Honolulu which are great too I'm sure I haven't been such diverse activities to do on the big island and diverse climate as well for a more sort of relaxing definitely very lush greenery vibe Kauai is amazing the one thing that I would say that is to no fault of Hawaii or anything it's just my own fault was just eczema was a real beach um it really sucked really bad in the beginning and then in the middle it was pretty good but then now that the trip is ending, I don't know, it just flared up a lot again. That's such a mood killer and I hate being on steroids and stuff. Ugh, I don't know, but that's another problem of its own, I suppose. Okay, I'm gonna end my talking vlog portion here. If there's anything else interesting that we do, I will totally paste it in. These are great memories, but yeah, thank you so, so, so much if you watched the vlog. He is finally back. That was the longest coffee wait ever. I know, it was so packed and stuff. Hello. I took a nap and when I woke up, you still weren't back, so I started to vlog. You showed me that ain't fair